Hmm. According to the Bible, the answer is yes, and there are two reasons I can give for that. Uh, one will be explicit references in the Bible, and the other will be implicit references. So, for instance, in John chapter 1, 1 to 3, and verse 14, we see that the second person of the one being three person creator God uh, puts on humanity and then comes into the world he created, and that person was Jesus. We also see explicit references in Hebrews 2, verses 10 and 14, Romans 9 verse 5, and Colossians 1, 15 to 16. But there are also explicit references, and I want to give you three of them. In um, an encounter with a paralytic in Mark chapter 2, verses 1 to 12, Jesus says to him, your sins are forgiven. Now the people around there were astonished. Why? Because it's only two people that can uh, forgive the sins of an offender, the offended party or God. This is why the people said, um, only God can forgive sins. After which Jesus doesn't say anything, he goes ahead to heal the man implicitly saying, yes, I am God because he was in the offended human party. Another uh, uh, place we find this is in John chapter 10, verses 22 to 39, a discussion about whether he's the Jewish Messiah. Jesus goes on to not just say that he has the power to give eternal life, but also that he and the Father are one. The people understood exactly what he was saying because they wanted to stone him uh, for the blasphemy of claiming that he as a man was God. And finally, in Matthew 28 verse 9, he does not stop his disciples from worshipping him after his resurrection. A genuine Christian or a Jew will be mortified at the prospect of people worshipping them as we see in Acts chapter, um, Acts chapter 14 verses 8 to 18 with Paul and Barnabas.